Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about keeping vampire crabs with fish. While it is possible to keep vampire crabs with fish, there are a fair few specific things you need to take into account in order for it to work. However, if you're looking for a video about shrimp, I'll leave one linked in the description as well, you can check that out, but this one's going to be specifically about fish. So there are a few problems with keeping fish and vampire crabs together. The first and the biggest issue with keeping fish and vampire crabs in the same tank is that the fish will generally always eat the baby vampire crabs. This is because the baby vampire crabs will spend 99% of their time on the water's edge. So when baby vampire crabs are born, the mother will drop them in the water and then they will hang around the water's edge for at least a couple of months. During this time is when the fish will prey on them and pretty much eat them entirely. This is especially a problem if you have fish that like to hunt. Anything that actively seeks out live food will cause a lot of problems for baby vampire crabs but fish in general will cause issues. So that's something important to consider if you want to mix fish and crabs. So the next most important thing and probably the most important thing of all is your tank size and the water volume requirements for your fish. So generally, in order to keep fish with vampire crabs, you need to make sure your paludarium setup has enough space to meet the fish's minimum requirements. As your tank is going to be 80% land and 20% water, you're going to need quite a big tank to meet the minimum requirements for your fish. Generally, you're going to need at least 5 to 10 gallons of water, and this needs to be the right size and shape of water. So this means you'll need to make sure the water has a decent amount of depth. If you have 5 gallons spread across a large area that's really shallow, this will make it really easy for the vampire crabs to eat the fish. Vampire crabs can't swim, however they can lunge pretty good in the water, so if the water isn't deep enough, they'll easily be able to catch some of the fish, even if they're quite fast moving fish. That's another pretty straightforward one, so just make sure you meet the minimum requirements for the water for the fish species you choose. Now, moving on to the next part, fish species that work with vampire crabs. So there are a few different species that work. Smaller, fast moving fish are the best options. This is just because they get a better chance of escaping. Avoid fish like better fish entirely. They're slower, generally they have long fins and the vampire crabs can catch them pretty quickly. You also need to make sure that the fish you choose have very similar water requirements to the vampire crabs. So you don't want to put a cold water fish in with the crabs who need tropical water. It's another really important thing. You want to match the exact or as close as you can get to the water requirements to keep everyone in good living conditions. There is an exception to slow moving fish. A lot of people use guppies and other live bearers with vampire crabs. And doing this, you have a higher chance of the fish being eaten but you also have the chance of having fish born in the tank. So generally, the crabs eating some fish will be offset by the fish breeding. So how you do this and how it works in your tank will have a few variables, but it's definitely an option. Just make sure you're prepared that some of the fish will get eaten. If you want fish that are going to have a high chance of survival but won't necessarily breed, amber tetras and chili rasboras are a decent option. They have similar water requirements and are fast enough to generally get away from the vampire crabs. Again though, this will sort of depend on how you've got your tank set up, so you do need a bit of depth for this. There is no 100% guarantee of choosing a fish that won't get eaten. There's a lot of luck involved and a lot of work on your tank design as well to make sure that the crabs have what they need, the fish have what they need, and there's a balance between how each species can survive and evade each other. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you want to learn some more stuff, check out either this video or this one over here. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on another video. Cheers, everyone.